जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आवर एम इज टू वेरीफाई द लॉ ऑफ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंसेस विच स्टेट्स दैट द रेजल्टेंट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सीरीज ग्रुपिंग इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल रेजिस्टेंसेस इट इज अ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ वन ओम इट इज फॉर्म बाय यूजिंग अ कॉइल ऑफ वन ओम रेजिस्टेंस एंड फॉर्म बाय वाइंडिंग द इंसुलेटेड वायर्स हैविंग लो टेम्परेचर कोफिशियंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज a resistance of known value 2 ohm now these two resistors are connected in series as shown in the figure this is end to end connection this is how the two resistors of 1 ohm and 2 ohm are to be connected in series a meter bridge is a laboratory instrument used to measure an unknown electrical resistance operating on the principle of a wheatstone bridge it is also known as a slide wire bridge it consists of a 1 meter long wire of uniform cross section stretched over a wooden board and the wire is made up of constantin or manganin and this is a jockey by using a jockey we can determine the null deflection point on the wire students this is the circuit diagram as we are aware this is a slide wire bridge which consists of a 1 meter or 100 cm length of standard resistance wire which is made up of constantin or manganin having high value of resistivity and low temperature coefficient now these are the two resistors these are the two given resistors and one of the value is taken to be 1 ohm and the other one is taken to be 2 ohm right so we need to make use of this slide wire bridge or meter bridge so as to verify the law of series grouping of resistances now these are the two resistors whose values are known and they are connected in series we need to verify that the resultant resistance of the series grouping would be equal to 3 ohm because in series the law of series combination of resistances states that when two or more resistors are connected in series then the resultant resistance of the series grouping is given by the sum of the individual resistances so in this case the actual value would be 3 ohm the resultant of the combination of these two resistors connected in series should be 3 ohm this is what we need to verify experimentally right so for th this is how the resistors are to be connected in this gap which is provided in the left hand side of the meter bridge a resistance box is to be connected and on the right hand side the gap provided the two resistors end to end connection like and they have mentioned they are connected in series are to be connected as shown in the figure these are the two points a and c where the source of emf and a one way key is to be connected and a galvanometer is to be connected between these two points between b and d this is the galvanometer and the jockey is made to slide over this constant resistance wire and a point will come where the galvanometer will show zero deflection this point on the standard resistance wire will represent point b right so galvanometer will show zero deflection only when points b and d are at the same potential when the points b and d are at the same potential then no current will flow through this galvanometer and in such a case p by q would be equal to r by x ab the length of the standard resistance wire will offer resistance p while bc length of the standard resistance wire will offer resistance q so p by q it would be equal to r by x x will be the resultant of the series grouping of these two resistors right suppose students the balancing length is l centimeter so p would be proportional to l while bc which offers resistance q it will be obviously equal to 100 minus l centimeter this has to be determined experimentally and we are aware in the balanced condition just now i have told you in the balanced condition the galvanometer shows zero deflection so in the balanced condition potential at point b is equal to the potential at point d and in such a case no current flows through the points or through the branch b and d and in such a case 
p by q it would be equal to r by x x is the resultant of the series grouping of these two registers let us represent it by x series right also you can put this as equation number 1 this is a standard resistance wire of uniform cross sectional area so the resistance offered by this length of the standard resistance wire is considered to be p it would be proportional to l and q it would be proportional to 100 minus l so dividing these two what we get is p by q it would be equal to l divided by 100 minus l So students from one and two, you can obtain the working formula. So what we get is from one and two, P by Q is equal to R by X series. Therefore, left hand side is same, so right hand side can be equated. It would be equal to L divided by hundred minus L. Therefore, X series it would be equal to R multiplied by Hundred minus L divided by L. So students, this is the working formula. And after substituting this value of R and the value of L and the value of capital R from the resistance box, X series, that is the resultant resistance of the series grouping, can be easily obtained. And X series, the experimental obtained value should be three ohm. And that is when we can verify the series combination of Resistances. This law can be easily verified by using this. We are supposed to verify the law of series combination of resistances using this meter bridge or this slide wire bridge. To check the correctness of the circuit, on touching the jockey at the two extreme ends of the meter bridge, the galvanometer must show deflection the opposite direction. In the first reading, let us take out a resistance of two ohm. Now let's move the jockey gently on the wire and find its balancing length. It comes out to be 42 cm. In the second reading we have taken a resistance of 3 ohm. Again the same steps are followed and it should be noted that the jockey should be held perpendicular to the wire of the meter bridge. Now in this case the balancing length is again determined and Corresponding to a resistance of 3 ohm, it is found to be 49 centimeter. And for the final reading, again we make use of a resistance of 4 ohm. So for that, two keys of 2 ohm resistance each are to be taken out. Again, the balancing length is determined, and for that, the jockey is to be gently moved on the wire. And it should be kept in mind that the jockey shouldn't be in contact for a long time. and we need to obtain the balancing point between 40 and 60 cm here the balancing length is obtained to be 57 cm now students let us complete this observation table right in the first reading we have obtained that corresponding to the value of 2 ohm resistance we have obtained the balancing length to be 42 cm so 100 minus l it comes out to be 58 So therefore, x one it would be equal to two multiplied by fifty eight divided by forty two, which comes out to be two point seven six ohm. In the second reading, students, we have taken the value of R as three ohm, and corresponding to three ohm, the balancing length is obtained to be forty nine centimeter. So hundred minus L, this comes out to be fifty one centimeter. So accordingly, x two it would be equal to three multiplied by fifty one divided by forty nine. So that comes out to be about three point one two ohm. And for the final reading, we will consider only three readings. So in the final reading, corresponding to four ohm resistance, we have obtained the balancing length of fifty seven centimeter. So hundred minus l that comes out to be forty three centimeter. So accordingly, x three it would be equal to four multiplied by forty three divided by fifty seven, which comes out to be three point zero one ohm. And as I've told you, students, a series of observations is to be taken so as to reduce the experimental error, right? So the mean value of x, that is, mean value of x series, 
it would be equal to or it would be rather given by the arithmetic mean of all the observed values which is the sum of all the observations divided by the total number of observations so it comes out to be about 2.96 ohm right so for verification it can be easily seen that while the value of resistance i mean as per the law of series grouping of resistances states that whenever the two resistances are connected in series the resultant resistance would be given by this particular formula so we have taken r1 to be 1 ohm and r2 to be 2 ohm the exact value right so it should come to be 3 ohm now experimentally the value of x series which is the resultant of series grouping of r1 r2 is obtained to be 2.96 ohm therefore x series is approximately equal to net resistance which is r1 plus r2 in the series grouping within limits of experimental error right so experimentally whatever value we have obtained it tallies or it validates the series grouping so therefore x series is obtained to be equal to r1 plus r2 within the limits of experimental error and thus students the law of series combination of resistances is verified so students i sincerely hope you have enjoyed watching this videos and you have gained a lot so do visit your respective physics practical lab and perform this experiment with full confidence right so all the best and keep watching my videos and don't forget to recommend my videos to your colleagues and other students right thank you students